what's going on YouTube it's your girl Steph and I'm back with another video and in today's video I will be answering some questions so you can get to know me before we get started please make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell let's go hey you guys welcome back to my channel and thanks for stopping by I am super excited about today's video because I get to answer some questions so you guys can get to know me a little better I went onto the internet and I just pulled up some random questions, so I have no idea what kind of questions are going to pop up, and we're going to just take it from there. Let's dive right in. Okay, you guys, so I am on signupgenius.com, and they have 100 getting to know you questions. We're not going that deep. <laughs> We're going to have to kind of go on a couple of dates before you get to know me that well, but let's get started. Um, I'm going to just choose random questions and... Um, just answer, you know, from here. Okay, so I like question number two. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? Well, for starters, I love, love, love New York. But if I can be bi-coastal, I would love to have a place in California and here at home. Number three, what is your biggest fear? My biggest fear is uh, just, I guess, getting, becoming complacent. Um, I have all of this drive and ambition and energy and I feel like if I just kind of just let everything fall to the wayside and do nothing with my life, that is like the scariest thing ever. I'm sure, you know, now that I'm a new mother, my fears will change, but that's just what it's been for, you know, many years. Okay. Um, <clears throat> What would you change about yourself if you could? You know what I realized? I realized that I am, like my dad likes to say, um, thin-skinned. Things do kind of, when things rub me the wrong way, I kind of get in my feelings. I, I feel a little salty about things, and then I kind of like let it be known. So I want to get to a place where I am able to just keep a poker face on and if something does bother me, instead of letting it affect me emotionally, just letting a person know like how it made me feel so that I'm able to not hold a grudge because I'm good for that and not take it, you know, have any hard feelings, take it too personally, you know? What is your proudest accomplishment? Well, before my daughter, my proudest accomplishment was um, just pursuing my writing. Initially, you know, self-publishing a novel and then um, uh, shooting my first film. But my proudest accomplishment right now is my family. Like, it, it's so crazy because growing up, like, my career, it just, it was always my only priority, my, the only vision I had. And the only thing I actually saw in, you know, like, in my future and... Getting married and having a family, starting my family, was never really at the top of my list. But now that I, I have that, I'm just so grateful and I'm so thankful. And I'm just like, wow, this brings me more joy than anything I've accomplished before then. Okay, what song would you say best sums you up? <clears throat> I would say... You gotta be bold, you gotta be strong, you gotta be wiser. I don't know the name of the song, Desiree, I think that's her name. I love that song and I'm always pushing myself, I'm always encouraging myself and I am always trying to level up. So um, I think that would sum me up in a nutshell. Which would you rather do? Wash dishes, mow the lawn, clean the bathroom or vacuum the house? I say clean the bathroom. Um, yeah, I prefer to clean a bathroom. That's where you go to get clean. And if I leave it up to David, I'm going to have to clean it anyway. So I'll say, to, you know, clean a bathroom. <laughs> if you could hire someone to help you, would it be cleaning, cooking, or yard work? David loves to cook. So definitely, actually, I do bring in a cleaning lady from time to time. So there we go, cleaning, you guys. You know, you know what it is. Would you rather win the lottery or work at the perfect job and why? Is that like a trick question because lottery or work at the perfect job? No, I'd rather win the lottery and then start my own perfect company 
and then, you know, provide opportunities for other people. <laughs> okay, what are your hobbies? Right now, I do not have any hobbies, but I love to picnic. I love swimming. Um, I love, you know, just laying out on the beach. I love reading. I love writing. I love um, filmmaking. Yeah, so pretty much I have a lot of hobbies, but for the most part, it revolves around reading, writing, and filmmaking. What's the tallest building you've been to the top in? Okay, I always call this building the Wiz Khalifa, but I think it's called the Burr Khalifa. I think that's what it's called. And it's the tallest building, I think, in the world. Um, and it's in Dubai. <clears throat> Would you rather trade intelligence for looks or looks for intelligence? Well, I'd rather trade my looks for intelligence, okay? Because, um, yeah, you get that money, you can buy looks now, right? We, that's what people doing nowadays anyway. You can buy that. <laughs> and um what's the most unusual thing you've ever eaten snails or escargot that's that's the fancy name for it it was pretty good but it just feels weird you know but then again everything we eat is like a life well for the people that eat you know meat and stuff like that but okay do you love or hate roller coasters? I hate roller coasters with a passion. I think I've been on once in my life and I was like, never again. Is your glass half full or half empty? Definitely half full. I'm always looking up, so um, half full. Who was your first crush? Keith Harris, and I hope you're not watching. <laughs> he was in the third grade, and oh my God, I had the biggest crush on him. And so, unfortunately, my brother and I, we are Irish twins, and so he was he got left back in the second grade. So from there, we were in the same um, grade. <coughs> Excuse me. And so from the second grade, we were in the same grade. So Keith Harris just happened to be my brother's friend and the boy I had a crush on. So when my brother invited him over to the house one day, it was like, oh my, it was like, ah. <laughs> yes, I had the biggest crush on him. That was my first crush. Are you a messy, are you a clean or messy person? I am a clean person, very organized. And when things are out of order, it kind of throws me way off. What was the last book you read? That's a good question. I used to read so much and lately I'm just like done with it. Okay, the last book I read was, um, I think um, The Secret. The Secret is a really good book, you guys. So make sure you check that out and learn The Secret. Um, and the last question, who knows you the best? Let a Jackie Dollhouse tell it. She knows me better than I know myself. <laughs> so who would I say knows me the best? That's like a toss up. Maybe I would say Jacqueline, even though I don't want to give her that credit because she just thinks that she knows me better than I know myself. But I would say maybe Jacqueline or my dad because it's like, I don't know, my brother knows me well too. You know, but I, I say it's a toss up between Jacqueline and my dad. <clears throat> and I would say Jacqueline only because I think I speak with her about everything. So she knows me on so many levels that I'm not open with everyone on or about. So Jacqueline. Oh, I said that was my last one, right? This was so fun. I actually want to kind of continue to answer some questions because it's like I'm getting to know myself. But I want to keep this video short. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you guys got to know me a little better. And if you have any other questions that I didn't read off this um, list, please drop it down below and I'll be sure to answer those questions. And um, before we go, make sure you hit that like button if you like this video. And if you're not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Until next time. Ciao.